Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Ashley. I'm a homeschooling mom with seven kiddos. I wanted to do, as we have started our school year and I have kind of dived into some curriculum that maybe we did not use last year, I wanted to give um, a quick update. We um, have, I think I did a video on fifth grade spelling, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I decided to change and use a new curriculum that included my fifth grader um, for the level five or grade five, and this is actually level, yes, level, and um, level two. So we were previously doing, geez, what was it? Was it Evan Moore? Can't even remember. <laughs> it was last year. Um, I think it was Evan Moore spelling. Yes, we changed it, um, and we are doing currently 180 days spelling and word study. I wanted to give an update because this is something new. I did a video, which I will link. Um, I think we, I did the one on the fifth grade level. Um, but these, I got these off Amazon. Um, these are different in the fact that they are not your, here's your spelling list. Here's your, here's how you spell it. You know, these are your words for the week. We quiz them and then we move on. I was surprised a little bit um, on how much of a word study and vocabulary um, emphasis there was in this curriculum. The spelling aspect is more of um, you not realizing or the child not realizing that they are learning how to spell it while learning what the word means. So this is not your typical um, here's your spelling list, here's your words, learn how to spell them. I will quiz you at the end of the week. I want to show you real quick, this is a second grade level and I was um, surprised at how well I, we started to use this as my second grader started to use this. And I thought, e <laughs> this might be a little hard for her. Um, but she has, she has surprised me. It has really worked well. So I want to just show you kind of what each one is and this kind of corresponds um, and is similar to uh, my fifth graders level book as well. So when she is doing like sentence completions in for level two, my other job, uh, my other child is doing level five sentence completions. And then when she is doing synonyms and antonyms, she's doing synonyms and antonyms, obviously with different words and different level, but it is still the same subject kind of for each day. So they have the day one, the day two, three, four, and five, I think. Do they go all the way to five? Three and four. Just kidding. They do, yeah, they do five. So um, their first um, day, they would do sentence completion. So you have, you know, I slept at my cousin's house last night. So you are looking and you are spelling it. You are looking at the word bank and you are spelling it, but you are not um, purposely or intentionally learning how to spell it. You are just looking and 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 just because you know what goes here, then you know how to spell it and you're looking at the word bank. Um, so it is a little bit different. So they have the sentences the first time they have synonyms and antonyms. So write a synonym for each word, antonym for each word, and you look at the word bank and pick those words. Write one of the words that fits each category. So you have crutches, sling, wheelchair, and then obviously cast goes with that. You have sentence types. So you would have um, study each, each example, write a sentence for each word, and then end each sentence with the same punctuation as the example. So the word was fast, and the um, sentence that she put was, I can run really fast. So it's a different approach um, to spelling, but it is working really well, surprisingly. Um, let's see, you have where you add the endings to the words and how it's spelled. So you have examples here and then you use the next word and you do the same thing. Um, and then finally, analogies. So body is to costume as face is to mask. And then each you know, section of the words, each unit has a specific, um, uh, like these are short A words. So they have a specific theme to them. Um, you could technically, take these words and at the end of the week, ask them to spell them if you wanted to. So there are specific words and there is a specific group of words that you are going to use, but 
they're used in a variety of ways. So you could do that if you wanted to. They do not mention that, um, you know, with the back and at the on the last day, like to learn how to spell it. But each unit is each week is um, a different group of words. So um, unit thirty two are controlled vowels with a r. So they are learning, um, but in a different way. Um, like I said, I was uh, a little bit surprised because I, I thought it would be more of the spelling list. Um, I am not a huge spelling rule person. I, it confuses my kids, a few of my kids, it confuses them, sometimes confuses me. I just want to know how to spell it. Do not tell me why. <laughs> I don't care why and most of my kids do not care why so when they are learning to spell and they just memorize how to spell words that is how they learn best that is how I learned best and I still learn best like I just just give me X Y and Z do not give me all the fluff in between you know all the rules and all that all that I know so I'm glad that my kids for the majority of the time that is how they learn um, so this is not so black and white, but it is not so confusing and trying to give me all this extra stuff with all these extra rules and all these extra, all the stuff. Um, so I have really liked this. I will see, like I said, I was a little nervous for her when she first started and, and I gave her the first um, page and I was kind of trying to explain it to her. Um, and I was like, oh no, <laughs> I didn't say that out loud, but I thought, oh no. Um, this might not be the easiest for her um, because she's not used to this kind of curriculum, but she has done great. There's a little, you know, hiccups here and there, um, but she has done great and she is not complaining and um, she can be my complainer and this is not a complaint to her. So I am going to keep going with this. My fifth grader has not complained. They are the only two that are using this. Um, but it has worked so far. So if you don't care about spelling rules um, and you don't care about necessarily lists, although there are lists, like I said, and that might be a thing that I do is later on in the week going further, I might end up doing that on a Friday, like just saying, let's go ahead and do spelling. Her language arts, the good and the beautiful does have some spelling mixed in. Um, and if it talks about rules, I literally just go past it because I, it's just confuses her. It confuses my fifth grader. It's just not something I want to go into. So some people like the rules, some people don't. You do whatever works best for you and your kids. I just don't like that. So overall, this gets a thumbs up. I am I am pleasantly surprised with it. Um, and I think we're going to just keep going with it and see how it works. Again, we will reevaluate. Um, I'm not going to switch anything over mid-year probably because I think they're doing okay with it. But if we don't if we're not like huge fans of it at the end of the year, then I will um, switch to something else. But I think this is a winner. So if you are looking for an elementary spelling um, uh, and vocab-ish study um, curriculum, then this might be for you. It is super cheap. It is on Amazon. It might be on Christian Books. I can't remember, but I think I got it off of Amazon. So 180 Days of Spelling Word Study. They also have a lot of... Um, other things like 180 days of science. If you're not wanting like a full on science curriculum, I think they have social studies. I think they might have something else. They might have uh, math. I, I don't even know. Um, but this one has worked. So let me know if you have any questions down below about this one or the fifth grade. I will link if I didn't already say that I was going to link my fifth grade um, flip through that I did of this. This was kind of a flip through slash um, review on how it has worked so far. Um, what I said about this one goes for the fifth grade one as well. Like I said, they have the same um, topics each weekday um, and it's laid out exactly the same. So let me know if you have any questions down below and I will see you guys next time. Take care.